Here we go! And welcome everyone to episode 80 of the one up XP show. Now this week we are taking you into a little bit of Fortnite, but also taking you into a little bit of Nintendo items as this week we had Nintendo direct, which showed us all of the upcoming games for Nintendo. And then we also will have Xbox and PlayStation showcases coming up over the next few weeks. So let's jump into it first with a little bit of Fortnite. Now this isn't the new, new, new season. This is actually chapter four, season three, the last season, if you will, before the one we're currently in. But it wasn't going so well for me. I couldn't buy a win to save my life. So me and Brayden, we jump into a few games here and we see if we can finally get a victory royale before this season turns new. Check it out. Uh, wherever you want to go, dude. Rankus. Alright. I like Tarina. First kid. Yeah. Not killed one actually. Oh, that kid's so low. He's like so low. The thing I hate about crowns that they can move. I already have three mini. If you want me, I can carry them for you though. No, I, I don't see it. I see it. Uh. Got their teammate. Knock them. I didn't knock them. I thought I knocked them. Somebody's right here. There's a sniper right there. Someone's right here. Alright. I didn't know right now. Did he not die? She's hiding right up there. Kids 
behind us, dude. Broke him. You like that new Zelda game? Yeah, super fun. Oh, I forgot they had Spider-Man webs. Gosh darn it. It's so like he had good loot for you. He had that, that, and them wed for you. There's someone up here behind us. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's blown back. Above us, above us. Right next to us. I'm hiding behind there. Oh, I know I hear kids. They're over here. 120 on him. Hit him 31. We gotta go, we gotta go. It's them versus us, 2v2. Oh no. Crudzico. And they got the spider webs too, so they can. Oh, one, one left. What? Somehow you killed someone. Yep. Hey! First game, first win! They must have left. No, they died of the storm. Let's go. Hit. Nine? Ooh -wee. And we did it. My streak continues. I have at least one victory per season since the game launched. And uh, I got it just in time because they are now in a new season. And yeah, let's just say I didn't have much hope of actually getting a victory last season. But coming up next, we take you into Nintendo Direct. Nintendo tells us exactly what their roadmap is for games releasing here over the next year. But what titles are they talking about? We'll have those details coming up right after the break. And welcome back, everyone, to the 1UP XP show. We are now in showcase season. And what I mean by that is every company is starting to showcase their latest, greatest, and getting us ready towards the holiday season. But for video games, we're showing off the new games that we could expect here for the rest of the year, but also into next year. And this week, Nintendo Direct happened, and it gave us an insight to a lot of cool games that are on the horizon for Nintendo. This is what it looked like. 
and take a look at all the games that came through Nintendo Direct. First off, that, off the rip, we had Sonic Superstars, uh, which comes out in fall of 2023. And if anybody knows me, I'm a Sonic kid. Like, I love Sonic more than I do Mario. It's close, but I do love Sonic. Now, you get to play as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, um, and even also as Amy. So, I mean, the cool thing is you can even play co-op. So Sonic Superstars is going to allow for a few different things, but it looks super awesome. And that'll be coming out here this fall for Nintendo Switch. Pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that game. Might have to get it and play it as the last Sonic game that came out. I was super pumped with. Um, next is Palia. Now this comes out the holiday of 2023. So more than likely November, December-ish. Um, but Palia is kind of the build the life of your dreams type game um, players from all over the world in the simulator where you can discover mysteries of the world um, it's free to play that's good news as well and that will be coming out in holiday of 2023 now persona 5 tactica uh, this looks interesting more details on this uh, spin-off of persona 5 will be revealed with pre-orders um, that you can get today but it comes out November 17th. It looks super cool. Definitely a, a really cool animation. Now this game, this one has a special home in my heart because Myth Force is taking a book out of Saturday morning cartoons. Uh, it's a first person game that's inspired by Saturday morning cartoons that they'll have to eliminate hordes of enemy monsters uh, in a high fantasy environment. That'll be available here later this year, but I was a Saturday morning cartoon kid. So the fact that they're trying to bring this to the table for a newer generation, I'm all for it. Love all of the references in uh, what we see here in this preview. Now, if you're a Splatoon kid, uh, they have a new uh, fest coming up, Splatfest. So Splatfest is kind of where they have a special event going on in a game. Um, so Splatoon 3 has a new event going on, and the theme is, what is your favorite ice cream? Um, that will also, in, new events will be also announced here. Uh, throughout the coming months, but this comes out next month, July of 2023, the new event for Splatoon 3. And if you're a Splatoon kid, obviously this makes you happy because these events are pretty big. So that will be happening here going into July. Now, going on to the next game, I love the movie. And to be honest with you, I didn't know if they were going to ever return to this, but Detective Pikachu Returns is coming October 6, 2023. Um, it's obviously a tremendous genre in itself. You're the character and then also Pikachu, who's a detective, continues to follow you solving mysteries. Very cool. The duo is returning. It's super awesome to see that they're bringing it back because if you haven't seen the movie, you should. Ryan Reynolds plays Pikachu. And then of course, uh, it's just a lot of fun. Now, this is something that really I thought would blow the doors off and it did for a lot of kids that are probably my age. Yes, way back in Super Nintendo days, there was a game called Super Mario RPG. Now, they've never built off Super Mario RPG. They never made a second one. Paper Mario is kind of like uh, Mario RPG, but it's just not the same. They are taking the old game, Super Mario RPG, from Super Nintendo and remastering it. So now it'll be on the Switch November 17th of this year, and you can enjoy all of the fun from the original Super Mario RPG, but in the better graphics and better quality. And it's just going to be remastered. No new story, no new anything. It's just a classic remastered. And who knows, maybe this will be kind of a stepping stone to a new RPG game coming down the line. That is something that uh, we all, the old OGs, if you will, uh, really enjoy. And we can't wait to see this game in action because it's been a long time. It has been about 30 years since we have seen uh, RPG kind of in that newer state. And then they kind of previewed something cool that they're bringing, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon from GameCube. They're actually remastering that. That'll come out November 17th as well. So if you're a fan of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, that will be getting a nice little haul, uh, overhaul and coming to the Switch. Now, this one uh, I am fond of. I'm a Batman kid, but Batman Arkham Trilogy. If you haven't played these games, these games are phenomenal. Um, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Knight. This full trilogy is coming to the Nintendo Switch this fall, the fall of 2023. And all I can say is if you're a fan of Batman, you have to play these games. It is super awesome. All the DLCs and it's, it's something that they really put a lot of work into and it shows. So definitely check that game out, uh, those games out when they come out this fall. Now Gloomhaven, that comes out September 18th of 2023. 
Gloomhaven is uh, you take a, take down your mercenaries, mercenaries through dungeons in the mix of turn-based and card games. Gloomhaven will be released again in this September. It's kind of like a Magic or like any of those card turn-based games. Um, this one definitely has more of a kind of like Diablo feel to it, but it is all card-based turn style game. So if you're into that, that will be coming out this September. It looks really fun, to be honest with you. I'm not a card-based or a card turn-based game kind of guy, but this one definitely looks like it could have some magic to it. Now, Just Dance uh, 2024 edition. This comes out October 24th. Uh, Just Dance still hanging around. I remember this coming out when I was in college and doing uh, a lot of dances. Well, their 2024 edition is coming out here later this year in October. If you want to pick that up, you can. Ubisoft continues to pump out these games because they continue to sell. Pretty amazing to see, to be honest with you. But we'll have more from Nintendo Direct here. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this break. Okay, guys, we're continuing with our highlight of the Nintendo Direct. And next up is Silent Hope. Now, this comes out October 3rd, 2023. And Silent Hope is looking to uh, really kind of take you with seven different warriors that will join together in an action RPG and that will change dungeons and face monsters. Silent Hope, uh, again, will be released October 3rd. Now, Fae Farm is up next, and this is a mix of Sim Farm and RPG, and it's making a comeback ahead of its release on September 8th. Um, again, very similar to that RPG feel, but you do a lot of farming. Uh, a lot of turnips, if you will, going to be uh, farmed here in Fay Farm. Now, next up is a, a pretty cool one, uh, is Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged. This comes out October 19th. Um, again, just kind of a little plastic cars and tracks and zooming around. What more could you expect from Hot Wheels? But this looks like a lot of fun. You can do a lot of customization and power-ups and build your own track. So that is something cool to check out as we head towards October. Now, next up is... The Dragon Quest Monsters, The Dark Prince. Uh, this comes out December 1st, 2023. Um, combine monsters from the Dungeon Quest, uh, Dragon Quest, excuse me, franchise to help you on your quest and become a master of monster kind. Uh, again, this looks like a lot of fun if you're into a lot of that Pokemon fight them. Um, and that comes out December 1st. Now, this was a big one that they really touted for Nintendo Direct. Pikmin. It's next iteration, Pikmin 4. This comes out July 21st in 2023. Now, if you've never played a Pikmin game before, don't worry. You can just pick this up and play and you'll, you won't be lost. Um, but a new look at Pikmin 4 showing off the new mechanics and game modes uh, this title will feature as well as uh, some of the scenarios to and areas to explore. If you've played Pikmin before, you know that uh, during the day you explore, but you had to return home at night. Well, that's changing with Pikmin 4. Pikmin 4, you can actually adventure out in the night and there's even glow in the dark pikmin so there's different mechanics with this game that are really going to change things up for the pikmin franchise so that's coming out in july as early as really just a month away now but this is definitely something if you're a pikmin uh, lover you'll definitely want to pick this up if you're not or haven't played pikmin or interested it is definitely something to get into um, and check out Again, just if you're curious, uh, a lot of new mechanics that are going to be a little bit different from the older games. So you can definitely check that out coming up in July. Now, heading over to something that I played all the time as a kid for my PlayStation, Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1. Now, this comes with Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, and Metal Gear Solid 3. So this comes out September 8th of 2023. And you're seeing a lot of these franchises do this now, where the older games are getting remastered to enjoy on newer consoles. And Metal Gear is just one of those games that... Well, of course, why are why haven't we done this yet? So Metal Gear, as well as Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, and Metal Gear Solid 3, they are all going to be remastered and released. And there's a bunch of cool items that you get with it, too. Uh, some graphic novels, as well as uh, many different things in this collection that will help you understand the franchise and where it's at today. So uh, they're taking you back to step one and showing you everything. I believe September 8th, but it looks, oh, excuse me. The collection will be released on, uh, yeah, September 8th. Now, when we take a look at Penny's Big Breakaway, this isn't coming out this year, but it's coming out next year. So this is going to be a big one. Uh, looks like a lot of fun. It's a 3D platform game from the creators of Sonic Mania, which we sh showed you. Um, but we'll discover a colorful world here where you play as yo-yo as part of, uh, where you use a yo-yo as part of your arsenal. Um, the title will be released in early 2024. So it's still off a ways, but it looks like a fun game to get out there and enjoy. I mean, if it's got Sonic backed by it, you know the mechanics are going to be pretty fun. Now, 
Coming up to our last game here that we want to really kind of show you. This one kind of blew the doors off, and that's why it was shown last. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. So it is a 2D Super Mario Brothers platformer. Um, and the mechanics are awesome. But this is the first Super Mario Brothers since way back when. Like, this isn't Super Mario Brothers new. This is Super Mario Brothers, and it's named Wonder. So you're going all the way back to, man, Super Nintendo? It's been a hot second since we've seen anything like this, but it was Super Mario Brothers 3, maybe even, some from Nintendo, uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System. So good news is we are going to be checking out a new 2D, 2D Super Mario as uh, the visual style and the mechanics are gonna be crazy, but something new with it is that four player co-op. Uh, and this will be released uh, coming up uh, in early 2024. So it is definitely looking like something that is going to be really cool to check out with all the new mechanics and a new Super Mario Brothers game. Um, not not like Super Mario Galaxy or Super Mario World 64. This is Super Mario Brothers, like, you know, you and Luigi, but now a little co-op. And this is something I had to show you right off the rip. It was something really cool. You can get this elephant and you get a trunk and you can start thrashing around. Pretty cool, but I'm excited for that game and we'll definitely be playing that on stream. Oh, Zowie! That Goomba looks so sweet. Well then. And there you go. There's a look at some of the games that are coming out for Nintendo here over the next year or so. But still no word on a new console. But I think that's going to change here later this year. And my best bet is we hear finally something on this brand new console Nintendo is currently working on. But we have one more segment left here on the 1UP XP show. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thank you guys for being here, though. Appreciate you. Be good. Stay safe. Take care. I'll see you guys next week. No! <laughs> Oh, <laughs>